Okay. Now, what is this we're looking at right here, Kirk? Uh, this is our uh, lean solar system for AQT. Right. And essentially what this is, it's a uh, glass in uh, solar cell product out. We can do up to uh, 800 to 1,000 units per hour. Uh, we inherited it from the uh, disk drive industry. So 800 cells per hour? Or? That'll be the full potential of the okay. system. Uh, this system, we leveraged uh, technology that we had worked with in hard disk drives. So what we did is we took the technology from hard disk drives and we said, hey, let's make solar cells instead. So right now, today, I'm running about 300. Uh, normal production, I'm going to be at 500, but our goal is to uh, mimic exactly what we did in HDD, and that's to ramp it up so we can eventually do 800 and 1,000 units per hour. Now, how do you do the uh, the SIGS material? It's very difficult stuff to work with. Do you sputter? Or are you printing? Or Absolutely. So we are sputtering. Uh, we're using a, uh, a dry reactor process. And we start, uh, we have 20 different uh, chambers, but we don't actually need to use all 20 chambers right now. But the, uh, we start with a sputtering with atomic deposition, and then you go to the next station. Uh, I don't know if you can hear it, but there's kind of a rhythm. And what's happening is we're sputtering, and then everybody moves forward one, and then we sputter again, and then we sputter again. Oh, is that the... Yeah, that's the, that's the slot valve's opening. And then everybody moves forward, slot valves close, and then we sputter. So that's a conveyor belt, okay. Right, it's a conveyor belt for solar cells, essentially. Now, a lot of people, though, have had uh, a lot of your competitors have had to develop their own equipment. Are you using this, like, off-the-shelf stuff? Well, not off-the-shelf, but well, that was, it's uh, used in the hard drive industry. Correct, and that was actually want, that was the approach that we wanted. We didn't think that Silicon Valley needed another specialized sputter piece of equipment. And you know, we looked around and we said, well, what can we leverage that would that is a proven factory type of system? Uh, the Innovac tool is actually a, a beautiful tool to work with because there's over 150 of these tools installed in the field. Uh, Seagate uses them, Hitachi uses them, Fuji uses them. So these are factory proven systems. So we didn't have to go through the pain of engineering something, seeing if it works, and then taking that from an R&D perspective and putting it in production. We immediately were able to just drop the system in, modify it to run our process, and then put in our glass solar cells. How much does that reduce your production or factory cost? Uh, well, it took us uh, about two years and ten million dollars to do what other people have done with half a billion dollars in five years. Okay. So I would say That's quite a, a bit. Nice <laughs> discount. Right. Yeah, and uh, and then on top of that, when you look at the uh, the speed. Uh, I walked into here, there was nothing in this room, and it took me eight weeks to uh, fully install the system, pour it over our process, and begin production. What's the efficiency of your cells right now, and what are you going to be at, let's say, in volume commercial production? So, I'd have to double check, but I think uh, we're still on, uh, at, on the competitive, uh, same with the rest of the market, 12% uh, at, at the module. So, now, our, our ramp plan is to improve efficiencies year over year by about 1% to 2%. So, ultimately, we're going to keep working our magic and then transferring it to the production system. And then the production system will just keep spitting them out. Are you in commercial shipment now, or are you mostly shipping, like, samples and prototypes, too? Uh, next month, we will be uh, shipping our first, our first shipping to our first customer. And 12% at the module level, that's pretty good, actually. Most, uh, it's not bad. <laughs> I mean, it's it's on par with everyone else. Can you do flexible, or well, you're doing glass right now, but you can do we, flexible, or we don't have any plans to uh, do flexible right now, but maybe we'll look into that in the future. But currently, uh, the system is designed for 1.6 millimeter thick glass substrates. Okay. Tell me a little bit about the equipment. So this is the conveyor belt right here. This is where the uh... yeah, this the, this is the front end automation, and this is where we actually have the glass coming in, and then the solar cells coming out. Uh, from this side, you're on the the the, the end of the line, so this would be where you'd see the solar our cells coming out, but the glass actually goes in on the left side. And what gives here? Well, we get the uh, the open chambers here. Just, uh... Oh, right, yeah. So I do have some open chambers so people can kind of see what the guts are inside there. Um, ultimately, kind of step over this direction. You can see we put two windows on these. Uh, the, that's what the inside of the uh, vacuum chamber looks like. There's nothing exciting, there's nothing in there, but later today you'll see solar cells going by those windows. Yeah, just pieces of glass basically moving by. And they move, they're actually horizontal or vertical, right? Yeah, we do a perpendicular process. Flip it off, sputter it on, take it out? Correct. That's a good idea. Yeah, it's funny, a few years ago, no one would have thought hard drives actually would have been the basis of like the solar industry. Well, sense. we have actually over 50 years of domain experience. Our, uh, our, uh, our main process guru, uh, she spent uh, 11 years at Seagate and launched a new product every six months for 10 years. And she, she was the one who developed all the process at Seagate. So we're just literally, and she did it on this tool. So all of us have you know, a lot of experience on this system. We have the production experience, we have the process experience, and 
on uh, the HDD, you're looking at 15 layer devices. Here we only have a six layer integrated device. So oh, that's our process is much easier. Yeah, so for us to uh, accomplish what we needed to accomplish wasn't really a far stretch. Can you, uh, I guess that's about it. <laughs> I can't think of anything else, but thanks very much. Not a problem. So